Because the people can go from people you know to people you don't And what hurts the most is people can go from people you know to people you don't Okay guys, today's the day. We are finally going to organize my vanity drawers. So I got this from Amazon. It's supposed to be for your spices, but I thought it would go great here. It actually expands to fit the drawer completely, but we're gonna keep it collapsed. So I think I'm gonna start off this row with like light foundations and skin tints. Organizing hack. Okay, I bought two Sterilite three drawer units from Walmart. They were like 15 bucks each. And I saw a YouTube video where you can just literally pop the top off, the bottom part connects so you can stack as many as you want. And then the pieces just snap back into place. It really wasn't that hard to do. And this is what it looks like. Woohoo!
Japanese storage solutions you didn't know you needed. These skinny cabinets are game changing. It perfectly stores cleaning supplies, toilet paper, and takes up no space. I think this would be great in a narrow hallway. I'm using a bread box to tackle this corner of vitamins in the kitchen. Adding a dolly inside allows me to see everything. This would also be perfect for snacks. And here's another version in my bathroom. Concealed storage will make a space look so clean and give you peace of mind. Because everything has a spot now, it makes cleaning so fast. And these are all from Yamazaki Home, which I'll link in my storefront. Your teachers aren't gonna recognize you once you start doing this. So if you want to get your grades up, you're gonna need to start getting organized. I want you to load up Google Drive and create folders for all your classes this fall. No more scrolling through a mess of random files. You're also gonna use a calendar app and create three separate calendars. One for your personal life, one for academics, and one for extracurriculars. To top it off, you're gonna color code everything so your calendar matches your drive folders which match your actual folders.
je me donne 21 jours pour mettre de l'ordre dans ma vie. Jour 7. Je mets des organisateurs de tiroirs Amazon. J'organise tous mes produits hygiène et beauté. Un bac pour les cotons à laver. Des charlottes pour mes masques cheveux. OMG, ça change tout. A demain pour le jour 8. Stack, you can even stack whatever height you want it. You can buy the six layer and can all stack them. You can stack to the 10 layers, okay? You can also stack to 10 layers, okay, too. Just make it off. You can see that. It's really easy connecting together. You can see the color. Wow! It's like a brown color, right? Browns and a clear. It's clear. I love this clear color. It looks so beautiful. Having a clean room can improve your sleep. And I know you basically can't see your messy bedroom while you're sleeping, but it's subconscious. It helps you feel like sleeping is your only priority, but it also does help you breathe better. Like, have you realized that when you wash your sheets, you sleep way better? Which reminds me, decorating your room a certain way can also help you sleep better. Like using colors that make you feel relaxed and comfortable. So I got these sheets just because of that. This colorway makes me feel so cozy and ready for bed. I also do this thing where I make sure I don't come into my room unless it's to lay down and relax. It's good to have designated spaces in your house, and it's good to know that your bedroom is only a peaceful place to recharge these sheets just came out of the washer and i'm so tempted to get back in and sleep these are 100 percent my favorite sheets now they're so comfy let me stock the guest bath what up? my bag is so full i can't even close it so i'm gonna try and clean it out you no know, it looks like a lot but it's all necessary except for the receipts the french fries and some other things first i'm folding the receipts and putting them in here i'm getting rid of things i don't need this is my new bag by the way it's so cute i'm gonna try not to treat it like a personal trash can this time now i'm gonna stock it first little pocket's gonna hold my lucky bracelet the front one's gonna hold makeup I can't go anywhere without. Like this lip plumper, you'll never catch me without it, at least for now. Next to lip gloss, blush, this one's my favorite. Mascara, I just found out what eye brightener is and now I can't leave the house without it. Lastly, this mirror that says you look good. Time for the bigger pocket. This one's gonna hold my inhaler because if you didn't know, I have asthma. Wallet, this one's falling apart, I need a new one. Whatever perfume I'm feeling, this one, oh my god, if you know, you know, it's so good. Running out of time, lotion, hand sanitizer, this one only. Cavities, AirPods, and Lysol, you just never know. And that's it, okay? I wouldn't consider myself a criminal. I am the girl who steals a good pen from a restaurant. I'm just a sucker for a smooth writing experience like these Sharpie pens. My husband and I have been in a fight with each other for a year over a Sharpie pen. I'm not even kidding you. Luckily, Sharpie solved our marital dispute by sending me all of these S-Gel pens. And now I'm going to use these fabulous pens to show you how I plan out my life. I start out with a month ahead writing down important birthdays, dates, intentions, and goals. On a daily level, I write down my tasks and then I break things up with an agenda that is color-coded. And look how bright those colors are. Since I am an influencer, or girly for a living i have my own section for my content calendar where i put in due dates as well as block out time for filming and editing so yeah that's kind of how i stay on top of owning my own business and being a content creator and juggling all of the things
Guys, look at the size of this. I'm so impressed. I needed a new rotating organizer for my bathroom. This was the tallest one I could find. It is huge. This has had no trouble whatsoever fitting any of my large products on. So these are full size 400ml of the Faith in Nature shampoo and conditioner. I've got my Hello Clean body wash and I've also got some stuff from Lush. That's the big one, the 550 gram. Then got a second shelf and a third shelf. The top shelf also has like a cup in it. I've just put my little nectar wand from um, the bubble bath in there. But if you're using it for makeup, you could put your makeup brushes in there. And it has these smaller sections that you can use for lipsticks or nail varnishes. But I can't believe I finally found one for my bathroom that will hold my big shampoo and conditioner and body washes. <laughs> shop with me at Mr. DIY so I found this organizer which I love because it has a gold accent I got this as well for 29 pesos perfect for sticky notes I'm planning to put my freshener and disinfectant sprays here I got this tissue box as well because we're aiming for that pastel vibes also this dustbin is so cute and it's for only 102 pesos these plates reminds me a lot of those you can find at SM department store and it's for only 59 pesos and girl the prints are giving so I had to take a video of these toilet brushes because girl they are in pastel colors I really love Mr. DIY because they have plenty of organizers that you can choose from this water jug is perfect as a gift to your pumpkin or for yourself this tumbler reminds me of Starbucks and it's giving mermaid vibes so this is what I've got so far.
I spent $85 at the Dollar Tree today on a bunch of organization things and decorations. And I know, decorations from the Dollar Tree? It's either gonna be a hit or miss. I am so tired of opening up a drawer in here and it not being able to open because there is so much junk stuffed in there. So today is the day where I get all this shit done. The first thing I did was clear out all the cabinets and drawers. In this cabinet, I had a bunch of my postpartum items, my diapers, my booty hole sprays. So I'm glad to finally get rid of all that and have more space in that cabinet. After that, I moved on to the first drawer, which is my makeup drawer and is the worst one. Like I mentioned before, I went to the Dollar Tree and I got these organization bins. I was actually really surprised they fit so well together. I didn't measure anything, I just guessed. The majority of all this stuff I threw away because half of it was just trash and the other half are products that were so expired. After I finally got all the cabinets and drawers done, I moved on to putting some shelves on the wall. I was actually so surprised I found these at the Dollar Tree. I thought it was such a good deal. I wanted my window seal to be clear, so I put a bunch of products up on these shelves. Next, I got a bunch of picture frames and I wanted to do kind of a collage. I think it turned out super well. Then I wiped down my window seal and my blinds, got some little decorations for up here as well. Now I try to be aesthetic, but honestly, I'm just not aesthetically pleasing. This is how it turned out. I think it looks much better. The photo collage is definitely my favorite part. Nest with me. Allez, c'est parti les filles, je vous montre mon organisation de mon frigo. Donc là, je commence à enlever tous les aliments. 
euh, vous allez voir, je vais mieux l'organiser. Donc là, j'ai décidé de mettre des étiquettes sur mes bacs. Donc bien sûr, les bacs, il faut les laver avant. Pour les étiquettes, c'est hyper simple à faire. Les filles, vous prenez une carte, vous allez venir gratter sur l'écriture. Comme ça, l'écriture va se coller sur l'étiquette transparente pour qu'ensuite, l'étiquette transparente, vous la collez sur vos bacs. Je ne sais pas si vous m'avez compris, mais franchement, les filles, c'est hyper simple à faire. Donc là, je commence à remplir euh, les bacs, etc. Donc il y a un bac pour les desserts, les crèmes, charcuterie, fromage. Voilà, ça c'est hyper pratique, ça se garde bien frais. Euh, donc là, je mets les frais et les cerises. Ensuite, je commence à remplir mon frigo. Donc, j'essaye de le ranger euh, correctement. Ça, euh, concernant les canettes, c'est hyper pratique. Je trouve ça trop satisfaisant. Ensuite, je remplis mes bacs à légumes et mes bacs à fruits. Donc là, je commence à bien ranger. Je mets les chocolats. Et voici le résultat. Dites-moi si vous aimez. En tout cas, moi, je trouve que c'est beaucoup mieux rangé. C'est mieux organisé. Et euh, ça fait du bien aux yeux, quoi. Parce que quand c'est le bazar, euh, voilà, quoi. <rire> Donc franchement, moi, j'aime bien. Les filles, dites-moi si vous aimez. Et si vous avez des questions, n'hésitez pas à me dire en commentaire. Je vous répondrai avec plaisir. Not only is this a vanity, a nightstand, and a desk, but it has a hidden pull-out chair. This thing is super compact, but let me tell you, it holds so much. So I'm going to put my hair products and a few other random things up here. I love that it does have a built-in LED light. The design on this thing is so smart, especially if you have limited space. I put so much in here, but it could hold a lot more. So when you flip this up, you have a place to do your hair and makeup. You can put your jewelry right here. So this drawer I'm going to use to organize my makeup. I love these organizers because they don't slide around in the drawer. That drives me insane. So yes, you do have to put this thing together, but no, it is not hard. It does take a little bit, but it's made really nice and it wasn't damaged from shipping. This holds so much makeup, but I'm going to go ahead and put more where the jewelry goes. And then I'm going to put some rings in there too. Okay, so I actually forgot to put this in here. It's so annoying that my nose runs every single time I do my makeup. I was only going to put one perfume in here. I mean, it's kind of one. Ever designed this, literally squeezed on every feature you possibly could. This is the button for the lights. You can charge your phone or plug in your hair tools. The chair that pulls out actually does have a drawer and it has so much storage. When I said they squeezed in every feature. There's even hooks on both sides. I absolutely love this thing. I will have it on my bio underneath my bedroom favorites. I'm moving my mini perfumes and this is the perfect organizer.
here it is. How many mini perfumes do I have? The organizer will be under organizers and storage. The perfumes will be under perfumes. Welcome to our new house. We have lots to do around here, but today we're gonna focus on restocking and organizing our pantry. I went ham and got so many things to organize. I wanted to mix the colors, the woods, the metals, and the textures, just so it kind of gives a more lived in and homey feel instead of everything looking the same. Right now, I'm just trying to map out where I want everything to go. And first, we're gonna work on our cereal and oatmeal bar. My kids are obsessed with cereal in the morning, so I have to have at least three to four boxes on hand at all times. My husband and I, on the other hand, are big oatmeal lovers. I love to add chia seeds and flax seeds, all of my favorite nuts and toppings. Granola, of course, is next level in oatmeal. And this is how the breakfast bar turned out. Can't forget the bread and toast. Next, I'm gonna stock the produce that's gonna go in the pantry. Let me know about the mangoes. Are they supposed to go in the fridge? I'll let you know how it goes. We also always have to have rice and quinoa. I like basmati rice. It is just so good. My favorites are garlic powder, onion powder, cumin, and turmeric. And of course, my salt and pepper. The aesthetic I live for. I love the black and the dark wood. Now let's work on the tea and coffee bar. I am an avid coffee drinker every single morning, so it's a must. I also love keeping canned beans and vegetables, as well as pasta like macaroni and cheese, jumbo shells, and bow tie noodles. Those are my favorite. Now for the snack display, I wanna make it a little bit healthier for the kids. I hope that they like these, but I have a feeling Marco and I are gonna end up eating all of them instead. This is how it turned out. I love the aesthetic. What do you guys think? I'm gonna organize the junk drawer in my kitchen. First, I'm gonna put this pink drawer liner in. In this first container, I'm gonna keep a level, some pliers, a Phillips screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, measuring tape, 
and the number one item that I always need, some scissors. In the container behind it, I'm gonna put pink duct tape. I'm gonna put this smaller roll of tape right here in the front corner. Another item I always find myself needing is glasses lens cleaner. This does not go with the vibe, so I'm gonna put it in this cutie pink container instead, like that. I'm gonna put it right here next to the tape. I don't have a pink cleansing cloth, so black is gonna have to do for now. In the container next to it here in the back, I'm gonna put pink zip ties. I need and use zip ties way more than you would think. Container right in front. I'm gonna put tacks in front of that. I'm gonna put my lint roller. My other most used item, my box cutter. In the container next to that, I'm gonna put pens. In the container on top, what if the power goes out and I need a flashlight? I'll have a mini pink one just in case. In the container right in front of that, I'm gonna put change really helpful to have change in this container because if you find any around your house you have a go-to to put it in this container i'm going to put electronic ties and here on the side i'm going to put my electric lighter and last a stapler my makeup station has became a complete disaster zone so today i'm going to tackle the chaos and i'm going to transform this makeup mess once and for all I'm tired of just rummaging through a sea of clutter, especially when I'm trying to search for that one specific shade of foundation or lipstick. I'm starting off with my everyday makeup drawer, left to right, starting with the primers, foundations, and concealers. Once that base is complete, then I'm able to do those blushes, highlights, lips, and gloss. I love how they shape these organizers because they're fitting everything so perfectly. I feel like when everything is easily visible like this, I don't lose things and I don't forget to use them. Okay, now moving on to my lipstick drawer. I have so many lipsticks that I never use and I really believe
laundry, the bathroom is a mess, we need to clean. So let's do it together. these toys. 